Well, tonight you can look to the skies and see progress if you look in the right place. Yeah, you don't even need a telescope to do this. Monday night, SpaceX sent up 60 of its Starlink Internet satellites. Well, we brought you that first launch of the year live on News 6 and ClickOrlando.com. This is the third round of those satellites, and all 180 can be seen tonight. News 6's James Barvero tells us where to look and why the future of space is a problem for astronomers. When the sun goes down and the stars come out, tonight the human eye shifts focus from Earth to space. Three, two, one. Zero. Ignition, liftoff. SpaceX now has 180 Starlink Internet satellites in orbit, and you have a chance to see them. They're exciting to watch. You'll see that rising in the sky. And amateur astronomers Mark Marquette and Ken Kramer say you don't need a telescope to see Elon Musk's satellite constellation. Just look up with your own eyes tonight at 755, 929, or in the morning at 523. You'll see a bunch of streaks, a dozen or so at a time. A time in research which astronomers are worrying about obstructed views. SpaceX has plans to launch thousands more satellites. You don't want to see a swarm of these satellites crossing the sky. And I'm very concerned that this is going to harm the science. Some of them are years in the making, and then these satellites just cross right in front of the observation, destroying it. SpaceX responds it's working to make the satellites less reflective. Some astronomers say it's a start, but SpaceX needs to do more. We're happy that things are going great with SpaceX, but this big constellation is disrupting data. They're confident SpaceX will work that out. Now, if you don't see the satellites tonight, here's something that would be a lot harder to miss. Tomorrow afternoon, SpaceX might return to Port Canaveral, the Falcon 9 booster, the rocket that launched the Starlink. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.